Hello. In this video, we're going to look at the Apple Volume Purchase Program. We're going to look at what it is and why you should care. Let's just dive straight in. In a nutshell, Apple BPP is a service for businesses and educational institutions that allows them to purchase iOS apps and books in bulk. It's a convenient tool for these organizations to manage and distribute these assets across their devices. Now, you might be thinking, why do we need a program like this? Well, just imagine a school with hundreds or even thousands of iPads used by students, or a business with a huge workforce of Apple devices. Installing apps one by one on each device is impractical and time-consuming, right? That's where the Apple VPP comes in. Apple VPP has also been integrated with Apple School Manager and Apple Business Manager, meaning it had even more features. Apple School Manager and Apple Business Manager are platforms that allow IT admins to centralise control over devices and user accounts. It allows them to set up devices, distribute apps, access device settings, monitor compliance, and that kind of thing, all from one place in an MDM. If we head over to Intune, we can integrate the Apple VPP token so that we can distribute our apps centrally. So heading over to the Intune console, we're going to go to Tenant Administration, down to Connections and Tokens, and then down to Apple VPP Tokens. You can see I don't have a token right now. Let's change that. We're going to choose Create. I'm going to give it a token name and tap in the Apple ID. And then this is where we need to choose the VPP token file, which we obviously don't have. Just up here, we can open Apple Business Manager and it'll take us directly to the Apple Business Manager portal. From here, we're gonna choose the name of the person who's logged in uh, and choose preferences. And then down here, we've got payments and billing. As you can see, the first tab is called apps and books. Scroll right to the bottom, a little bit hidden. You've got content tokens and this is the VPP token. So I'm gonna choose download and there is my VPP token right there. I'm going to just jump into back into Intune and just upload this VPP token. We'll choose next. Choose the region for content purposes. And we aren't going to take control of the token from another MDM because I haven't used this token before. It is possible that you have this token registered on a different MDM. So make sure you check with your admins, your other admins, to make sure they aren't using it on a different MDM. It can only be used at one at a time. And so also we need to choose whether it's a business or education VPP account. And we are going to allow app automatic updates from the apps that we push via the VPP. So we also grant permission to send user and device information to Apple. This is a lab environment for me, so it's not a problem for me, but make sure you check with compliance to see if you can do that. We'll choose next. No scope tags in this environment. So next and review and create. And that's all there is to it. We've assigned our Apple VPP token within Intune, so now we can distribute our Apple Business Manager VPP apps via Intune. See you next time.